Welcome back to Southwest Yard and Garden. I'm John White. Today we're in the laboratory of the New Mexico State University Biocontrol Lab, and Dr. Joe Ellington is the director here. Joe, Hi, tell John, us a little bit about you. biocontrol. Well, biological control consists of trying to control the insects biologically with nematodes, microorganisms such as viruses, uh, fungi, and uh, bacteria, and also parasites and predators, other insects. So this has a lot of application for home gardeners? Oh, very much so. Uh, we're really shooting at trying to reduce the pesticide load in, uh, in farms and gardens uh, across the nation, but especially in Las Cruces now. Okay. Are there particular type of insects that we're talking about as far as a biocontrol agent? Well, there are a wide variety of them. We've introduced some 32 since I've been here, and that's been uh, for the control of aphids and bollworm and pecan nut case bear and a wide variety of things. So even though these have been used maybe more for an agricultural application, they, they still help a lot in our home gardens and oh, home yeah. landscapes. I think there's no question about that. Over the years we've recommended uh, control of rose aphids, for example, with lady beetles and I've uh, gotten good reports back, so I feel relatively good about that. Okay. So here in the lab you are rearing some of these insects for later release? Yeah, we get our insects from various locations, sometimes in foreign countries other times uh, in different locations in the United States and we bring them in, sometimes in quarantine, other times just straight out. Uh, sometimes we can release them immediately, other times we try to build up the numbers and release them and sometimes we collect the ones that have established and re-release them so that we get them distributed better. Okay, well let's take a look at the lab and kind of see what you do here and how we raise some of these. Okay. Joe, I see we have some insects that we're working with here. What is this one? And this is the Asian lady beetle, and we introduced it several years ago. It's from China and Japan, and uh, it has some things that are better than our local lady beetles, and that is they tend to stay in the fields and yards and gardens better, and uh, they don't migrate out in the wintertime. And uh, they, in other parts of the country, have built up into very large populations, so we hope that they'll help us with uh, rose aphids and uh, pecan aphids especially. Is there a way of distinguishing it from, from one of the other lady beetles? Yeah, these are, <clears throat> the color distribution is quite wide in these and some have spots and some don't. But they, uh, instead of uh, convergent lines on the thorax, the uh, area between the head and the wings, uh, having convergent lines, uh, these, these don't. So that's the basic distinguishing factor. I guess the body is a little bit bigger also. The bodies are a little bit bigger also, right? Okay. So this is a kind of a success story. This is a, one that, that is in the area and is, it's been seems to be increasing. Yeah. And it's been established for two years and we just went down to the horticulture farm and collected these a few minutes ago. So there are a large number of them in the Mesilla Park area. And uh, we're trying to distribute them now to uh, orchards um, uh, around the valley. Okay. Now some of the other containers here? Well these are trichogramma. We just brought these in from Dallas and this is for pecan nut cane bear control. The local trichogramma and ones that we bought from um, commercial sources have not been effective and so uh, we know that this one has been in the Dallas area so we're trying to release it also naturally. And, but this is one that we can rear successfully and very cheaply and so we can mass rear this one and, uh, and it will be effective. Okay now this is a uh tiny wasp that... It's an egg parasite, right. Okay. So it'll hit bollworm, for example. Um, um, it will also hit uh, pecan case bear and other larvae. Okay. Or other eggs, I should say. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a look at another part of the lab. Okay. Joe, we're in a controlled atmosphere of lab here. You can kind of hear some of the noise and the compressors and everything working. Uh, what do you do in, in this situation? Well, we control temperature and humidity. Some insects are very sensitive to that. So before we release them, we try to work out what some of their requirements are. These chambers here are under computer control, and we can control temperature to about plus or minus a quarter of a degree and uh, humidity to about plus or minus 2 percent. So these are for rearing the, uh -huh. the insect? Right, before we start mass rearing them. And uh, in here right at the moment is a lace wing that we imported from Florida. And these are called trash bags. And they carry trash around on their backs to keep predators and parasites away. 
and the local lace wings have a problem in that they're heavily parasitized later in the season. So we hope that this will help with that problem. Okay. Now, as far as a home gardener wanting more information on biocontrol agents and yeah. materials that are available, they're certainly willing. I'm certainly um, open to have them call me, or um, you can email me either. Okay. What's your telephone number and email? Uh, J-O-E-L-L-I-N-G at nmsu.edu or 646-2037. Okay. And also there's a website at http uh, forward slash forward slash taipan.nmsu.edu <coughs> forward slash bug lab. Right. So if you want to get on the computer and, and get some of the information that is available on biocontrols, uh, that's the way to do it. The Department of Agriculture in California also has a complete list of commercial sources for parasites and predators, and uh, I'll make that available for anybody who's interested. Okay. Well, Joe, thank you very much for being on Southwest Yard and Garden, and I'm sure you're making the valley much more uh, <laughs> chemical-free. Thank you. Hope so. Enjoyed it. Thank you.